through dry wood yesterday. I thought to myself, if I could have a healthy dialogue with this body, I wouldn't even know where to start. But I guess I would mumble an attempt at I'm sorry for binding and bruising these ribs, for not thinking it was worth a glance in the mirror. I would apologize for every Dutch glance. I've given it in the mirror. I would beg for forgiveness. Grovel at the shrine which is this vessel and make jewels out of the tears and smiles I spew. Being a living testimony that even a, even a flower can bloom in a dark room. I would hope, I would even pray that my body would accept the apology. Grace me with a smile. And maybe, just say that it loves me still. Thank you. What's up everybody? What's up? How you doing? Chris aka Rights and Such, West London in the house. So listen, we've got some amazing freestylers, people reading off their phone. There's always one motherfucker in a fucking essay. I'm that motherfucker. So I've been doing some spiritual work over the last couple of years and uh, I realised my creativity is a gift to be shared, shared. Which is great news for me, not so good for you guys. So. Uh, so listen, I've written a little uh, dedication to Imaginary Millions because uh, I love this night. But bear with me, I literally printed it off before I came in. He's a bit of an edit, but let's just see how we go, alright? Feel free to uh, do your thing. So, what's up? Imaginary Millions. A piece of poetic futurology. That's right. This is for the Imaginary Millions. The Imaginary Millions Undone. This is for the imaginary millions to come. This is for the imaginary millions undone. Yeah. This is for the imaginary millions to come. This is for the quashed, the thwarted, the suppressed, the slaughtered, the uninflected, the botched, the unrefined. Man, I love what you're doing with that voice. Butter, man. Fucking butter. The unfiltered. The abandoned, the promised, the never delivered, the dust defrauded, the unemancipated, the hoarded, the cleaned up and drowned in the bath, the unborn, the unlauded, the prematurely aborted. This is the vehicle of your idea that left the station, but you never boarded. For the jagged lines tapped out on your phone or slightly up some tones. This is a requiem for those daydreams, the unloved progeny, the brainwaves unsung. For moments the past is missed with a half-hearted Maybe I'll do it later or a cavalier Well, it will never be any good anyway This is for the imaginary millions undone This is for all your imaginary millions undone The ideas left suspended in suspended animation with an oh Oh well, I'm no oh well It's only little old me with like amateurish utterings Quelled by the rain of squeamishness and self-condemnation those clenchings and declensions where the spur was damned up The impulse spurred, the vault slammed shut uh, Those embryonic moments when you should have played sommelier But you bottled it up When you looked upon your offspring and declared it a rot When you should have been bold, offered it fondness and taken a punt This is for the buddings, the outpourings The protoplasms of thought, the yearnings denied In limbo this is for the forsaken daughters and unprodigal sons. Where do these imaginary millions end up? Do they end up roaming, botched and broken about a liminal space with frustrated monads and teary, hungry ghosts? Suspended in a bardo state, meditating on the great unaccomplished songs and concept albums they might have become. Waiting for a passage to reality they'll never see. Sequestered in this never region, bent on haunting you, villains of unrealised unseen. Where do these imaginary millions end up? 
Unseen but beautiful like the ripples across the leaves of grass Walt Whitman used to celebrate America and himself Singing the song of himself Breathing in the fragrance of himself Drinking in the fermented mead of himself That if he'd never known homophobia, racism, contempt for the poor He could never have written that screed He'd already made America great before anyone else Or the need for red starter caps, rebel yells, shotguns, Dixie trunk or spleen Yes, well, we can take multitudes. Where do those imaginary millions end up? What do we learn from the Sufis? Your right is a gift. It's our deepest hunger. And self-doubt is hubris. Self-hate is hubris. Your sense is hubris. Everything is germination, gestation, and bringing forth. Germination, gestation, and bringing forth. Just do it. Eye wide shut, like Kubrick. Because every time, Every time someone steps on this stage, whether rough or refined, their stage time makes the room more kind. It consecrates the stage to the divine, makes it a plinth to their ambition, and all our wishes to see them shine. The audience connects like nuclear fission, and they make it easier for the next one to come up here and complete their fearful mission. We're all perfectly imperfect up here, you have a place up here, on this stage, decked out in advance. Your name is already laid out in invisible neon lights, right above Rob's head. Your crooked idiosyncrasy is your perfection. Your fear on stage is your perfection. Your unsteady gait as you walk up on stage is your perfection. Your fiddling with the mic cords perfection. Your quivering lip and your crackling voice is your perfection. Your mumbled first lines are your perfection. Your dreads, dropped and misremembered stanzas are your perfection. Because you bless us with the gift of noble endeavour and every one of us, every new brave sister and brother, another sparkling in the firmament, every blooming of a new individuality helps us to fertilise and germinate to start to grow another. Because despite the odds, we're the brought it off. We're the thing that the Daily Mail warned you of. We're the imaginary millions. Because the future is what all artists should love. This is for the imaginary millions to come. This is for the imaginary millions to come.